How many A-B test variants has your email inbox been subjugated throughout Black Friday? Only a decade or two before, marketers were mostly flying blind on any commercials and posters for sales and promotions. Now the average e-commerce company probably runs one too many A-B tests on their customers, and at Interview Query, we tried something similar for our Black Friday promotion and decided to run an experiment to learn about how much email copy and content actually matters. We ran two different email campaigns for Black Friday to two separate randomly assigned user groups. Here's how it went. A bit of context, my name is Jay and I'm the CEO of Interview Query, a data science interview preparation website full of interview questions, SQL and Python editors, and a growing community. And on Black Friday, I was interested in figuring out how to optimize our Black Friday promotional sale. First thing we did was test the subject line with an A and a B variant. Subject line A read, get 25% off interview query, while subject line B read, save big on data science interview prep. Which one do you actually think performed better? Wait for it. Subject line B, by a margin where I didn't even have to run an online significance calculator test. <laughs> subject line B received a 30% open rate versus subject line A with a 17% open rate. My hypothesis on this was that subject line A was a standard control of literally just telling everyone the promotion, while subject line B was a little bit more clickbait. Next was the email body. My product marketing girlfriend took the liberty of designing some fun Canva illustrations while gathered around Thanksgiving night. And so we created two designs and added two different email bodies. Here's the email body for test A. And here's the email body for test B. Can you tell what the difference is between the two? Email A had a 10% click-through rate out of all the users that opened up the email. And email B had a 7% click-through rate. So email A won, right? Not so fast. To be honest, this is where I started suffering from a common data science experimentation fallacy called laziness after Thanksgiving dinner, and more importantly, actually interaction effects. Since I was changing two different variables, the subject line and the email body, I probably should have created four variants to measure the effects of how the click-through rate could be affected by the subject line. Turns out this might have botched our experiment, because subject line B had a more enticing line of save big Maybe some customers had some preconceived notions of how big the savings should have been. Ultimately, what did we actually learn from this? One is that email funnels and copywriting actually matters. We do a lot of subconscious decision making when we're browsing our email inbox, which influences which emails we open and interact with. I don't buy the over-optimization on click-through rates, aka clickbait, and at the end of the day, we did see a 50% increase in unsubscribe rates from test A. And even one guy sending us this, which is definitely what you don't want to see in your customer support emails. Granted, it's still hard to take away some concrete learnings from this. At some point, you would think that after you've run enough A-B tests, a business would start taking the winning variants and lessons and apply them to all the users. But behaviors do change over time, and no two campaigns are the exact same. So what works for Black Friday this year may not actually translate to Christmas sales later on. So it makes sense that we should always keep a holdback group for understanding the baseline observations of what can happen in email marketing. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and be sure to like and subscribe to view all the different tests we're running on our users. I'm definitely gonna be a mad scientist running a ton of different tests on all of the users on interview query. So if you'd like to be subjugated to more and more tests, please sign up for interview query as well. Talk to you guys later, bye.